Hey, this is Brent, sales manager with Atlantic Lift Truck here in Baltimore, Maryland. Today we're going to talk about the CAT 2C5000 forklift, which is a 5,000 pound basic capacity LP fuel cushion tire lift truck. So this is one of the harder line products for CAT. It's designed with four key features in mind. Uh, one, to be as comfortable for your operators as possible to keep them productive. Two, to be built as durable as possible for long time cost savings. Uh, three, to make it as easy to work on as possible, again, for uh, long time cost savings. And four, uh, the best visibility possible so your operators can see what they're doing, minimize product damage. So we'll start off with the operator compartment. Uh, you have a very large grab handle here, a large grab handle for your right hand and a large open step for your left foot. Uh, once you're on the machine, you have a full suspension seat as standard. It's weight adjustable, so anywhere from a 350 pound operator to an 80 pound operator can adjust the seat to get some play to be as comfortable as they can. So you have a highly adjustable steering column for multiple different angles, depending on your operator height. Three, on the right hand side here, you have a cup holder with a storage tray and a clipboard holder as well. And the now standard feature of a high visibility orange seatbelt. So management can see from a distance whether the operator is wearing the seatbelt. Now standard on this machine is also the CAT PDS or presence detection system. If the operator is not in the seat, the hydraulics will not work. So they can't lift, can't lower, can't side shift unless the operator is in the seat. If the seat belt's not fastened, there's a audible alarm uh, that is quite loud and obnoxious, so the operators will wear the seat belt while they are driving the machine. The new for uh, 2016 and 2017 is the upgraded display panel here, which ties into a very in-depth uh, control system. There is a, also a very in-depth engine and transmission monitoring system as well. So if you have low oil pressure, coolant temperature is too high, or your transmission, your torque converter temperature is too high, the machine will slow down and only operate under you know, very low RPMs. If any of them reach a critical level, it'll, it'll actually cut the machine off before it will allow your operators to burn up an engine or a transmission. New for 2017 is also the, uh, the fuel saver button down here on the dashboard. If it's in the soft mode, it reduces the initial startup power. So when, the, uh, when your operator is starting to accelerate, it'll cut the power back. That does two things. One, it cuts fuel consumption by up to 14% while still allowing for about 95% of its full uh, productivity capacity. And two, it pretty much won't let the drive tires spin. So if you have issues with your operators uh, pulling off and spinning tires all the time because they're, they're accelerating too quickly, you can pretty much eliminate that. That button we can also actually take out and hide under the dashboard and leave it in soft mode so your operators won't be able to move it back to, uh, to power mode. Now we're gonna move down. I'm gonna show you for, for all of you that, uh, that do your own maintenance or really you know, like to have a low cost. This machine was designed so you can pretty much access all the major components without any tools whatsoever. So just like that, in about 30 seconds, I have all the covers off. You have access to the engine, transmission, battery. So if you want to do an oil check, I need to check transmission fluid, take a air gun and blow out the machine to keep everything clean. It takes 30 seconds and zero tools and you're completely accessible to everything. So I'm gonna take you around the front and we'll talk about visibility of the mast and the carriage. The front end of the CAT 2C5000 was designed for two things, durability and visibility for the operators. So the, in order to get increased visibility here, the engineers designed the mast channels to be fairly thin in this dimension, but deeper in this dimension. So there's still plenty of steel there to make them heavy duty, but open the mast up a little bit inside. They also took the lift chains and the hoses, mounted them at a, at a 45 degree angle, tucked in behind the mast rails. So they don't intrude very much in the uh, open visibility of the mast. And the carriage is a cascade side shifter. It was designed to be as open as possible, tucking the cylinder up high. So that allows for best visibility if you're you know, lifting a load at operator at 
eye level. You can see through to see your fork tips to make sure you're placing your, your forks accurately. I'm gonna move over here, show you a few other options that are available on the 2C5000 depending on your application. I just wanted to point out a few additional options that are available on the CAT 2C5000. So this particular machine is set up for a specific customer of ours that does a lot of handling of uh, appliances as well as uh, air handlers and hot water heaters. So one, they switch between a clamp attachment and forks. These forks here, which you can see, are shiny on top. These are actually what we call fully tapered and polished forks. They're designed to slide underneath of uh, boxes or cardboard better than a, a standard pallet fork. Uh, two, this one has a four-way hydraulic setup with quick disconnects. So both sides of the carriage have QDs for the hydraulic attachment, which side shifts and clamps. So attached to that clamp is this three-position uh, hydraulic regulator. So some products that they handle require very light clamping force, others require a heavier duty. And if you're trying to handle one of the light products with a heavy clamp force, you'll end up crushing it. So we set this up to have three different pressures available depending on what they're handling. That, and then over here you have a lift line accumulator. So this has, this basically builds in some extra shock protection into the lift circuit. So once they do have something clamped and they're traveling through the warehouse, it allows it to bounce a little bit without rattling the mass to death. So just a few quick things and then the non-marking tires, if you have clean floors and you want to keep them that way and not let them get marked up by, the, by a fork truck, non-marking tires are an inexpensive way to keep your, uh, keep your floors looking good. Thanks for watching this video and hanging out with Atlantic Lift Truck today. If you have any interest in getting a demonstration of the CAT 2C5000 at your facility, give us a call. Be happy to bring one over for you. Thanks.